Welcome to Tentative Title with Tim. This is a podcast about creativity, about process, about filmmaking, and about screenwriting. Welcome everybody to the show. So uh, today's topic, uh, I kind of wanted to talk about what's been going on uh, in the world right now, at least in if you've been on on uh, social media, you've seen this happen uh, pretty much every day. And um, I'm not going to try to condemn anybody or try to defend anybody. Um, that's not what I'm trying to do uh, right here. But uh, I did want to talk about cancel culture in relation to our mental health as as creators i think cancel culture can kind of stop us from uh creating something that we want to see or something that we want to read or just anything that involves art art is a very messy uh you know pursuit it's messy Internally, as an artist, you're always in self-doubt. You're always questioning if you're doing the right thing, if your message is coming across. Sometimes even what is the message? Like you, you get this inspiration and you think, I love the idea of that, but I don't know what it means. I don't know what the context is, I just, I don't know, but I know that I like that idea and I want to have the freedom to investigate what, where that idea could go. And with the idea of cancel culture kind of looming over our heads, it can kind of uh, freeze us from even pursuing something that would... Uh, be a, a an idea that explores you know wh- why there's uh so much hate for something or why there is you know so much love for something too cuz the on both sides there there's reasons why we hate a lot of things and there's reasons why we love a lot of things and they're not all you know uh grounded in in pure motives um and that's interesting because we're human beings we have all kinds of reasons why we do things and sometimes they're rational and sometimes they're very irrational and if we don't have the the freedom to kind of explore those those avenues and to create characters that are the epitome of the thing that us personally as artists hate then we're diminishing our ability to actually have a conversation about the reasons why we hate or love something. It's a very uh, touchy subject, I know, because just like free speech, there are some things that we're not supposed to touch. Or like there are certain, you know, phrases, there are certain... um, you know, subjects that we're just not supposed to explore. Um, Because for, I I mean, there are clear historical reasons, but there are, uh, and and sometimes safety, especially with free speech, you know, you don't yell fire in a crowded theater, you know, like like stuff like that. But um, other than that, uh, our ability to explore dangerous territory should not be hindered by uh, our fear of being uh, canceled. And I I like to use uh, the example, or I I guess you would call this like this uh, um, uh, analogy of writing with the door closed or creating with the door closed. Yeah, I I got this... uh, concept from uh, Stephen King and it it made a lot of sense when I read it that um, when he's working on a story he considers that that part of the process uh, before he shows anybody anything that he's writing with the door closed it means 
he can explore the story and all its bizarre nature. Uh, he can create characters that are just terrible um, human beings. Uh, he he gives himself that freedom uh, to go wherever the story uh, leads him. And then once he's gotten to the end, you know, he can go back and start to break it apart and figure out what the story actually is. And he can th throw away a lot of stuff if he needs to. But he gives himself that freedom to create at the beginning, knowing that there's a lot of stuff that he's probably going to throw away or that he's going to change. And I fear that because of the idea that we'll create something in our privacy that ends up for some reason getting out into the public that we just refuse to to take any chances uh with with what we do and it does society no good to have artists who are just afraid to dig deep into uh, issues of, of you know, humanity uh, because they're afraid that someone's going to come along and completely disagree with what they did and say, well, since I agree, uh, since I disagree, excuse me, since I disagree with what you did, you are no longer valid as an artist. And that's a, that's, that's horrifying because... Think of all this, uh, all the movies, all the books, all the things that you enjoy. That when you look back at it, especially you know, as a kid, there were movies that I watched as a kid, and I didn't think twice about what was happening in the films. It was just good entertainment. It was adventure. It was exciting, um, you know. But then, as an adult, I look back at at you know these films, and I'm like, wow they like took a lot of chances they they did things uh in those in those movies that if they were done today they would immediately be canceled they would immediately be um you know considered uh you know like pulled off streaming sites or something you know and i'm not saying that you know the, the artists knew what they were doing back then um, but they were, you know, they, they were doing what was uh, acceptable, I guess, at the time. But what was acceptable at the time as well was this ability to explore bizarre ideas, the uh, ability to, um, you know, try things and to, ha you know, basically just to have fun with a narrative. You know, it's like if anybody is taking... Uh, you know, a movie really seriously or a piece of fiction very seriously. It's like the, that's, that's an impossible thing to, uh, to, to get right, I guess, you know, it's a, it's a, it's, it's an impossible thing to get right when in, in terms of like the public not finding some fault in it. And, uh, I think, you know, just, I, I hope I'm not the only one who, you know, uh, feels some anxiety when I'm trying to work on a story and in the back of my mind, I'm thinking, well, if I make a character like this, then that means so-and-so group is going to, you know, come after me if they find out, oh, but if I make a plot line like this, then I'm going to be considered to be this uh, if I, you know, just the list is endless and it's not healthy for, for artists. It's not healthy for creation. It's not healthy for, you know, what, you know, we're trying to do. And yeah, there, there are, there are different standards today and I completely understand that, but let's n not let the standard of what is eventually going to be shown to the general public take away from our ability to go to extreme places when we're creating these stories because it, you know eventually 
no matter what you write, no matter what you know, uh, there's there's going to be a process in which you're you're going to edit it down. You're going to change things. Um, you know, it, you're going to find a way in which, if it's essential for the you know this plot line or this character to be a part of that story, that there will be a justification within the narrative that that character or that plot line needs to be there because it's it's part of that story and there's no way you're going to make everybody happy so i mean i really don't have the answer when it comes to what to do not to get canceled uh i i just don't know and i i i, I like i'm not going to say i don't care because you know like it involves uh, you know, livelihood, it involves being able to create more, um, it involves, like, curating an audience, it involves so many other things, which is why it's such a powerful thing, and why, you know, so many people are reactive when somebody is essentially cancelled. So, I guess with this whole thing is that I just wanted to start the conversation about um, cancel culture in terms of how it relates to uh, creating new stories and, and if that affects any of you guys. I know it's a touchy subject. I know it, it that there are opinions on both sides about, you know, who should be canceled and who shouldn't and, and you know, where things went, went too far and not far enough. And that, that's always going to be a debate uh, depending on who you're talking about. But in terms of as creative people if the culture of being of like being canceled is something that affects you and it affects your mental health and if it stops you from taking chances that you normally would have taken if there was this freedom to uh to kind of do whatever you wanted and th that's why i like the idea of the closed door because it does give you that freedom uh nobody has to know what it is that you're exploring, you know, what characters, what storylines. And after you're done exploring uh, those uh, th those things, you could, you know, find that it act you actually have a point of view that um, makes sense and is coherent and, and actually brings up some good points. Or you may find that, you know, I, I, I tried to explore... Uh, the this alternate point of view or you know the the opposing point of view and uh, it just didn't work out and that's fine and then if anything it allows for you to understand w why you believe what you believe or at least it allows you to try something and and fail and then you know you can start again and try something else but the whole point is that being able to create freely is is what I hope all of us are able to do. And, you know, because we're artists. We have to be able to just step outside of um, the expectations of our world and say, you know, I, I really want to see what happens when I go down this road. And I need to be able to do it without without consequence. And if I find something, then then I can bring it out into the world and hopefully have a conversation about it. But we can't do that if we're always afraid, if we're always feeling like we're going to be canceled. So anyway, that's all I got for today. Uh, I hope everybody's being safe, uh, you know, washing your hands, wearing the masks, um, all that stuff. And uh, I will talk to you on the next one. Bye.